So last episode, we discussed how we can add and remove tags by going scoreboard, players tag, your entity, add, and then type in an arbitrary tag and you can also remove it. What if I told you that you can add and remove many, many tags with just one command? And no, I'm not talking about those commands that summon other commands. I am literally saying one command you can fit into the chat. So first off, you can see that this armor stand has two tags, test1 and test3. Let's remove every single tag it has all at the same time using the entity data command. So we're going to go entity data, then we're going to pick the entity armor stand, the closest one of course, and then we are going to add an MBT tag. Now we have talked about these in the past, so I will link my tutorials page as I always do every video in the description below so you guys can figure out how to use these correctly. So this kind of MBT tag is called a list. So we're going to start by typing in tags. Okay, that's all well and good. But then we're gonna put in a colon and then we're going to have two square brackets facing inwards. And this just means the entity should not have any tags. Let's enter that in. And as you can see, the tags are gone. However, we can add these tags back one at a time. Let's add test one just by typing it in between the square brackets. Okay, that's all well and good. Now, if we actually type test two, it will simultaneously delete all the tags and replace it with the tag of test two. If I typed in test three, as you can see, the same thing happens. But what if I wanted to have two tags? Well, that is actually also pretty simple. We need to put some quotations, double quotations around the tag, and then follow that by a comma, double quotations, and the next tag. So if we press enter, as you can see, test two and test three are both present. If we go test one here, as you can see, all the tags are replaced like so. And of course, if you wanted, you can add another set of commas and quotations here, and you can have three tags at once. And you can do this infinitely if you want. So that's just something I wanted to share with you guys about the entity data command with tags. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.